Welcome to this week's video tutorial for the Positive Learning for University unit. This week we are looking at Zoom. Zoom is a high definition video conferencing and desktop sharing program. On its basic account it is free for one to one video calls and allows video call recording and can be used with phones, tablets and computers. As students you can log on through the university's corporate account and get the added benefits of free group sessions that are not limited to 40 minutes and you can record the sessions on your own computer. To do this we need to download and install the Zoom software to our computer. We are going to go to the Zoom Download Center on zoom.us slash download. It is important to note before activating your CQU Uni corporate account, you must first cancel any paid Zoom account that uses your CQU email address. You can go to the support link that's shown on the worksheet to find out how to do this. Now to download, we simply need to click on the download button on the Zoom client for meetings. Click save file. Choose where you want to save it. I'm just going to save it into my downloads. Once it's downloaded, just click on the exe file to start the installation. If your computer pops up with a do you want to allow the following program to make the changes to this computer, click yes. first time you use Zoom on a computer, you will see the two options, join a meeting or sign in. We're going to click sign in. You're going to sign in with SSO. We're going to manually enter the domain of CQU. Then we're going to go continue. Your university username and password option should come up so simply enter your student number and password and click login. You'll then see the Zoom interface that has the options to start with the video, start without video, join, schedule or share screen. As a student you will be invited to join a Zoom meeting. Now to do this, you will generally either get an email with a link or there will be a link on the Moodle website for you to click on. In this case, Trixie James, the lecturer, has sent me an email. So if I go to my student emails, click on the Zoom meeting email. As you can see, mine is from Trixie James. Once you're in there, you can see that it says that Trixie is inviting us to a scheduled meeting join from a PC, Mac, iPad, iPhone or Android and if we simply click on the URL here it should take us to the meeting. When the pop-up box comes make sure that Zoom Meetings is highlighted in blue and click on Open Link. From here it will take us into a screen and we can see Trixie. Hello. No. What you will find if there are numerous people involved in a meeting, on the right hand side there will be a number of little screens showing each person that's in the meeting. Whilst you're on the meeting you can check to see if you have your microphone on on the bottom left hand corner. If you click the mute arrow um, you can see that I'm using the microphone Logitech USB headset. You can also choose to mute it just by clicking on the mute and they won't be able to hear anything you say. Now, muting it in a meeting where there are a number of other people involved is a very good idea so you don't find yourself saying something that people don't need to hear. So I would leave that muted in a group meeting and only unmute it when you actually want to speak. You can also stop the video so they can't see you. All they will be able to see is your name. So Trixie at this point can only see my name on there. And yes, we can only see Trixie. She's turned her video off. So if we turn that back on again, and you will see that your own little video is up in the top right corner. I think this is the only time you get to see me in any of these videos. Um, or me on a Sunday at home <laughs> with a coffee. <laughs> I generally wear makeup every day. 
In a Zoom session, your lecturer will quite often share their screen with you. This is so that they can show you a PowerPoint or if they're explaining how to use a particular program, that can be shared. Now, Trixie's just going to show us how this happens. Okay, so I'm going to choose a screen here, one that you are all familiar with, which is our CQU screen. So um, if I were then to be talking to you or say guiding you about how to do something, look at this. I remembered my student number from many years ago. Log in, right on, it takes us um, to the student portal. So there you go. And then what we can do um, as I can continue to share screens, I can even actually be writing on it. So say for instance, I want to point something out to you, I can actually annotate, whoa, good drawing. I could even write. That's, um, hello. Pretty sad, but it'll do. And of course, I'm going to clear all drawings now. So I can highlight different things that we're doing, um, share, uh, spotlight uh, different things, maybe even type on it. So it's a great way of being able to, to share with you um, anything, any concepts in that around the course that we're learning. Okay, Trini, you're back to you. Oh, I'll stop sharing. Okay, so that's showing how you, uh, the lecturer would be sharing a screen with you. If you need to share a screen yourself, so say there's something on a program that you want to show the lecturer that's not working for you, you can show the screen by simply going to the bottom of your um, monitor and you'll see a little icon here with share screen with a green rectangle and arrow. You click on that and you choose a screen. Now as you can see, you can choose your desktop. I have two monitors, so I have desktop one and desktop two. There's the whiteboard, which you can click on and that will allow you to have an actual whiteboard that you can write on. Um, the iPhone, iPad link, if you have an iPhone or iPad that is linked to your computer. Um, and any documents that you have open, you will see that it will show these. So if I was to click on the Adobe Premiere Pro and share screen, it would show Trixie the Premiere Pro screen that I'm using to create the Zoom video. And she would be able to see that screen. Oh, it looks easy. To stop, stop sharing the screen, um, all we need to do is stop share and it will take us back to our videos. Um, there is also a chat, so if you don't have a microphone and you can't talk, you can simply click on the chat and type a message in there and everybody will see it if it's on everyone or you can change it to just Trixie James. So if you only want to send a message to Trixie, you can say hello Trixie and enter and she will see this and she could respond um, privately if there was something you needed to say privately or if you were wanting to type to everybody in the group simply make sure it's clicked on everyone and that will allow everybody to see a message so if you have a question that you don't want to interrupt Trixie talking maybe so you would type um, you know maybe when is the assessment due and she could respond to that either verbally or in the message and everybody would be able to see this so everybody would know when the assessment's due <laughs> radio um, so that's the chat there is also the option of recording so down the bottom you will see a little icon that says record so you can record any um, meeting that zoo with other you can record any zoom meeting that you have simply by clicking on this once you've finished um, recording now that says we have to request permission I think that's because this is a um, Trixie has set up the meeting but generally you can record and once you've recorded it will be saved onto your computer now in any university meeting you will find that the lecturer will record the meeting and it will, will be put on Moodle for you to be able to look at later so it's not something you need to worry about but if you host a meeting of your own and you want to record it um, to prove you've been doing I don't know, some type of study group or something um, that's always an option the other links down the bottom are simply to invite if you want to invite somebody you can click on that and it will send them an email like the email you got there's also a link to the participants if you click on that it will show you who is a participant it shows you Trixie is the host and that I am just a user up on the top right hand corner you will see two other icons the first one is the gallery view now if you click on this you will see 
each of the people evenly spaced around the screen. If you have a number of people, you will have a screen full of faces. Um, speak of you takes it to the person who is speaking or who is the main um, talk, well, I suppose presenter at that point. The other icon is just exit full screen. Now that just brings it down so that you can move it around your screen and possibly be able to sort of work on other things while that's going. So if you were wanting to type a Word document and have some information about whatever you're doing, you could have that happening as well. Take notes about the um, session. The final icon, and we're going to say goodbye to Trixie here because the final icon is the leave meeting icon. Once you click leave meeting, it will just be you leaving the meeting. When the host leaves the meeting, then it closes the meeting down. So we will leave the meeting, say goodbye Trixie, and um, thank you we'll very much. All, all my Zoom sessions that I start running. <laughs> right, yeah. see you later. Um, Katrina, the icon too will be found on Moodle. So students just need to go into their weekly modules and there'll be an icon, actually a Moodle special Zoom icon. Awesome. Rightio. Thanks a lot. See you later. Okay. okay. And do you want to leave okay, this meeting? Leave the meeting. Thank you for watching the Zoom video tutorial for the Positive Learning for University unit. You will find that you will be using Zoom throughout your university studies as it is replacing the Blackboard Collaborate that CQ University used to use. So this is an important tutorial to watch and learn from. I hope you found it educational and entertaining and we'll see you next week. Thank you. Bye.